Well, hello. Um, uh, this video is, is going to be um, my attempt to find uh, some audio intro music um, for YouTube, for my YouTube videos that might, you know, hopefully make my videos a bit more appealing, <laughs> a bit more entertaining, uh, you know, less dull, um, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, I, I've been an avid watcher of YouTube for many years now, and something I noticed that most people that have a YouTube channel, um, before each of their uh, videos, they tend to have, you know, a nice jingle, uh, something, you know, um, I suppose people would even call it branding, you know, where you sort of have something that says, yes, this is this is the start of my, my favourite YouTuber's latest video. <laughs> <laughs> something to look forward to um so uh i'm aware however that um music belongs to somebody uh like most things uh in our planet um things are owned by somebody and you know without their specific permission you, you can't make use of it so um, I've done a little bit of research and I found out that there's this thing called the YouTube audio library where you have copyright free uh, clips and this means that hopefully I can use some of these videos and um, you know nobody will sue me or be angry or uh, you know off with me or um, you know uh, come after me uh, send the boys around as we say in English um, so I thought what I would do is I would look through the YouTube audio library with you and see what we can find. Um, so bear with me. So here I am in the YouTube uh, audio library world. And what we find is that we have music and sound effects. So within music, you have something called genre. Um, some of the options we have available are alternative and punk, um, classical, holiday, I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, I think probably, because in American English, holiday is like, you know, anything from sort of now onwards till the end of January to encompass, you know, the most popular uh, or most prevalent uh, religious festivals of, of this time of year. Then we also have uh, reggae, etc. So, um I'm not really sure what kind of music would be appropriate for this channel because it's got obviously a Columbia focus, um, literature, that kind of thing. But let's see. Um, so I suppose initially I would probably look for something, ironically, in um, alternative and punk because I don't know, I like black eyeliner, I'm not really sure. So now I'm just basically looking at which titles might be more appealing. And we have things called California Wind, Inhale, Love on File. I mean, God knows what that is. Um, pomade. Your voice is American. Uh, chap chapstick. Chapstick is something people wear in theory so that their lips don't, um, what's the word, become flaky. Um my experience it just makes the whole situation worse I think um I don't know softening your lips in I don't know the other way the other way is through a tube of the lips let's say no more about it so let's see what chapstick sounds like um oh it says I'm free to use this song in any of my videos let's see how it sounds um is it gonna start I have, have. oh my goodness Yeah, I think maybe not. It's more for a sort of um, Friday night, post 7pm. Um, you know, I need to be wearing a little bit more black for that to work. I'm not, not really sure it's appropriate. Oh, uh, this one is called Armadillo, um, which is my favourite animal or creature. Let's give that one a go. It says it's also free to use. Um, oh!
not really sure what that has to do with the armadillo. Um, not sure why that title was chosen. Um, I'm wondering if maybe um, alternative and punk is not the way to go. So let's try some of the other genres we have. I don't know, maybe reggae. I mean, reggae is not Colombian. Um, he, he was kind of Caribbean. Um, this one is called... I'm just flicking through him. <laughs> I don't, no pressure, spelt P-R-E-S-S-H-A. Um, no, not... I mean, I'm just going by which titles kind of um, appeal to me. Island Lover. Is that somebody that loves the island, or is it a amante eh, de la isla? Okay. No, we don't know, but I, I will be avoiding that one based on the title. Um, Caribbean steel drum happiness. So I like, really want to be happy. Let's give that one a go. They start quite. I mean, they take a while to get going, don't they? <laughs> Yeah, it's just not not very Colombian at all, that one. Um, probably, probably reggae is not going to be the genre for us. We can also try um, jazz and blues. Now, I do like jazz. Um, it does have this kind of slightly snooty um, connotation. I'm not, again, not really sure... Does jazz really fit with a, a channel about Colombia? Um, on the other hand, I suppose if it sounds good, um, Erzatz Bossa. I'm guessing it has kind of Brazilian feel. We can try that one. Trying to be sleazy and doesn't seem to stop when it ought to. Gypsy dance. <laughs> I mean, goodness knows what's going to come out of the computer next, really. It's quite unpredictable. Let's have a look. Doesn't sound gypsy at all. It sounds like a, an advert for holidays to France. Let's see. This one's called I Knew a Guy. I Knew a Guy. Um, let's, uh, let's try that one. Oh, but this one's got like a threat with it. It says that it has to be used under the Creative Commons Attribution License. Oh, it started already. Does it sound like the guy I knew? Um, Pina Colada. Wouldn't recommend that, probably even to my worst enemy. Wow. Um, it's not really, again, when I think of jazz, I, I suppose I'd prefer something cafe con leche is what it's called. I don't like milk, personally. No. Um, 
Puerto Rico me llama. Yeah. Well, we're not in Puerto Rico, but it might be a bit more Latin sounding. It does actually sound like um, the kind of thing you might hear on a Colombian aeroplane, but again, it's not Colombian. Oh, this one actually says Baila mi cumbia. Or, Colum Col cumbia is Colombian. It's, um... Oh! Unfortunately, that is only 11 seconds long, so it's not really sufficient, which is a shame because it's probably as Colombian as it's going to get. Do we have any others that are remotely suitable? Oh, the 1940 slow dance. Oh, it's over so soon. Look at this are. Um, Again, what other genres are we likely to find anything suitable? Hmm. Rock? Dare I? Dare I even see what rock? Oh, this one's 1973. Does it sound like 1973? I wasn't actually born in 1973, so it's hard to know. me think of the North American road trip that I've never had. Uh, the Motel Rock. Um, no, let's not, let's not even <laughs> comment on that. Um, we also have the Saloon. That's, that's probably, again, probably very North American because Saloon is for, you know, the saloon. It was described as rock angry. Um, we also have a genre here called dance and electronic. Um, trophy wife, interesting. Uh, Shoots so rail. Oh my goodness, knows what that is. Motion sickness. Try and read that. Fortress Europe. Interesting title. Um, silkworm, book me to flirt with a two for the two, let's try that one, too trendy um, I would suggest don't seem to be having a lot of luck mm. perhaps I should hire a band <laughs> um, the first Noel that's kind of Christmassy I suppose but that doesn't sound Christmassy it sounds like oh conflicted feelings about Christmas as it is. Um, this one says cello. Hmm. 
yeah, and med kind of memories of adolescence, but again, not really suitable. So, again, this video seems to be getting quite long. Let's try one more and let's hope that we're going to find, you know, a sunshine samba. Again, there's a big bias towards Brazilian music when you're looking for sort of Latin genres. No, um, rainforest canopy. This is going to be the one I can feel it. It's going so well, but it got a bit cheery at the end. So um, I'd say, in conclusion, um, search continues. <laughs>